Greetings friends. Watch Refrigeration News for Friday, September 2, 2022 on our channel. Danfoss updated software of the controller AKCC55. CIFA 2022. Refrigerated warehousing market 2021 to 2031. Chilventa 2022. Industry reunion in person and on site in Nuremberg. Johnson Controls Sabro Industrial Refrigeration Brand celebrates 125 years in business. Bitzer Apprenticeship 2022 now underway in Sindelfingen and Rottenberg. So, first news today. Danfoss updated software of the controller AKCC55. Danfoss is announcing a software update for case controller AKCC55 Compact. The software is upgraded from version 2.0x to a newer version 2.1x, which brings a set of new and improved features, while keeping the core application functionality of the controller unchanged. The new features and functions in the update are extension of thermostat range from minus 50 degrees Celsius down to minus 60 degrees Celsius. Function to remote lock display keypad on type AKUI55 set display. Possibility to stop fan only at door open, refrigeration still active. Improved SH close control when running modulating thermostat, MTR. Separate defrost slash thermostat parameters for thermostat band 2. Option to disable compressor 2. Possibility to user-defined temperature sensors type for S3, S4 and S5. Improved melt function when running modulating thermostat control. Possibility to calibrate sensor S2 and S5 for long cable runs. Danfoss is announcing a software update for case controller AKCC55 multi-coil. Read more the news on our website today. Second news today. CIFA 2022 Interprofessional Refrigeration and its Application Trade Show What's the CIFA exhibition? 130 exhibitors, more than 3,600 participants. The CIFA is the event dedicated to all refrigeration players, manufacturers, installers, final users, expertise, OEM. Two events in France, Paris and Lyon. 130 plus exhibitors, 30 plus conferences, 60 plus speakers, 3 600 plus attendees. A trade show, forum union dedicated to concrete issues about refrigeration, air conditioning, and thermodynamic. Read more the news on our website today. Third news today Refrigerated Warehousing Market 2021 2031. The global refrigerated warehousing market was valued at 0 0.80 billion in 2021 and is projected to reach 0 0.90 billion by 2031, growing at a CAGR of 12.5% from 2022 to 2031. Refrigerated warehousing also referred as cold storage, refers to a system which is utilized to store goods which need to be in optimal temperature to retain their freshness. A refrigerated warehouse works on a refrigeration system which aids in maintaining an adequate temperature and environment as per the specifications of each item being stored. Read more the news on our website today. Fifth news today. Johnson Controls Sabro Industrial Refrigeration Brand celebrates 125 years in business. Johnson Controls today celebrates 125 years of its Sabro brand as a pioneer in industrial refrigeration systems in Denmark and abroad. What started with a high-performing refrigeration machine, produced in a small company founded by engineer Thomas THS. Sabro in 1897 in Aarhus, has since developed into a global brand that has increased sales year over year by consistently providing customers with reliable and sustainable refrigeration solutions. Read more the news on our website today. Sixth news today. Bitzer Apprenticeship 2022 now underway in Sindelfingen and Rottenburg. The new apprenticeship year at Bitzer in Sindelfingen and Rottenburg, Germany, has already begun. Nine young adults kicked off their career training with Bitzer, the refrigeration and air conditioning specialist, on 1st of September, and another three will begin their practical degree course on 1st of October. If they successfully complete their apprenticeship or dual degree course at Baden-Württemberg Cooperative State University, DHBW, the doors will be wide open to them at Bitzer. Read more the news on our website today. That's all. 
Share the news with your friends. Follow Refrigeration News on social networks. Please find the links below.